When you first get your hands on the Hasselblad X1D, it becomes immediately obvious that a strong design thesis drove many of the features on this camera. Minimalism and compactness make the X1D paradigmatically different than cameras like the Fuji GFX 50S or the Pentax 645Z. Typical buttons and dials are replaced with a menu system, which gives you a sleek appearance, but not necessarily the best user experience. The X1D's image quality is eye-popping. Viewing the X1D's images on a large screen makes you appreciate how modern lens design coupled with sensor resolution can yield spectacular results. If you regularly shoot DSLR or ILP, then using medium format can be a jarring experience because it requires the slowing down of the picture taking process. Like medium format film, the camera lends itself to travel photography, portraiture, and other types of photography where the photographer has more time to compose, focus, and shoot. I found the grip to be very comfortable. The X1D has a nice deep notch and a tacky rubber covering that makes it easy to hold. The design language of the X1D eschews protruding surfaces wherever possible. Buttons on the X1D are inset into the milled aluminum body, and the power button is no exception. One could argue that this prevents accidentally powering off the camera, but in reality it's a pain compared to having a power switch. Battery life isn't great, which makes the need for a switch all the more valuable. DSLR shooters are spoiled. Phase detection combined with ultrasonic motors means lightning quick focusing. The X1D has neither. The focusing mechanism is slow compared to a DSLR and the barrel travels during focusing. The X1D uses a button to toggle between MF and AF modes. In manual focus, the EVF uses focus peaking. In AF, you can select a focus point, but the lack of a joystick means selecting a different focus point is clunky. Hold down the AF-MF button for a second, then use the front and rear wheels to move the focus point left and right and up and down respectively. This is perhaps the most glaring operational problem with the camera. The images from the X1D are stunning. I use the 45mm f3.5 lens, which is a 35mm full frame equivalent, and was amazed at the image clarity. Take a look at this image from the Alexander Farm in New Zealand. Here's a one-to-one -one of the horizon from the same photo. Yeah, those are sheep. The X1D Center is a 16-bit Sony creation with 14 stops of dynamic range. The files have a ton of latitude, and making exposure adjustments of a stop or more didn't radically affect the image quality. The target market for the current iteration strikes me as somewhat limited. The camera is too slow operationally for fast-moving scenes, and another photographer told me he thought the blackout was too long for studio use. Travel photographers seeking the best image quality could benefit from this camera if weight isn't too much of a consideration. Those lenses aren't light. The notion of a medium format, compact, mirrorless camera is inspiring, and photographers have been clamoring for a legitimate medium format option for years. Compared to Hasselblad's H-series or options from Phase 1, the X1D is a bargain. The image quality speaks for itself, but I'd be hesitant to purchase one until some of the operational features are improved. But when issues like focusing ease and shutter blackout are addressed, Hasselblad will have a formidable and compelling reason for many more photographers to consider medium format. And if you're looking for a photography website, Photoshelter has you covered. Check us out with a 14-day trial at photoshelter.com.